What are we doing here, hon? Free garden centers, big box store. Finally got some pack joy seeds. So I had some time to think. So what I want to do, this is going to be a long form video, I think. I think it was a total fail, but that, it won't matter. So what I've done is I've planted way too much pak choy, but I wanted to utilize our worm castings. So we have two rows, 20% and potting soil, two rows, 50, 50, uh, potting soil, worm casts, and then two rows of a hundred percent worm castings. And I, we had vermiculite, so I'm doing vermiculite here just to see. Um, people swear by it, I'm not so sure, but uh, we'll just see how it goes. And the other thing I'm really cur curious about is that people keep saying 100% worm castings. Like when I we bought our worm castings, it was 100% pure. I don't know if that's possible. Like I know with our worm castings, it's definitely not 100% pure worm castings. Like there's definitely other stuff in there, right? Um, so my thinking is is that they say 20%, 20% worm castings to 80% soil uh, is the best. If you if you put too many worm castings in, there's inhibitors in the in the castings that can actually stunt the plant's growth. So this is where I'm interested in seeing where this goes. My feeling is that the 50-50 is probably going to do the best, but I have no idea. I have no idea. So what we're going to do with this too is we're going to water from above, not from the bottom, because we just don't want that stuff mixing um, together. So yeah, it'll be a little bit of a process, but I'm up for a process. So what do you think, hon? Um... Why, why are you ask? why do you think 50, 50 is going to be the winner? Cause I think our pure worm castings are probably about 50% castings, 50% other things. So, okay. um, so yeah, so I think it'll come up to about 20% in, in, in the middle row or this will probably be like maybe 80, 20, 80% mm -hmm. worm castings, 20% soil. And then this one will be like maybe 5% worm castings. Mm. You know, so, but it's all pak choy. It all got planted the same way um, with a couple variations, but everything is as close to control as I can get it. So fun. Yeah. So we'll just, I think what we'll do is we'll splice in some photos and then come back at the end and, uh, or if anything really interesting happens, we'll just come back and, and uh, ask for your thoughts. So Neat. yeah. Fun. Let's go. Okay. Okay, we're back. It's been 19 days. You guys just saw a few uh, little still pictures that I took along the way. And um, yeah, so definitely some interesting results. So as you can see, this is the 20%. These two rows here, vermiculite, uh, and then the soil mix with castings, 20%. And then same with this one, vermiculite here, 50% mix. And then this is 100%. So vermiculite here, and then just the straight castings here. So one thing that me and Colleen noticed is that the vermiculite, the ones with the vermiculite tended to come up first. Um, and that just might be the seed to soil contact. Um, but the 20% ones, 20% uh, castings, 80% soil, definitely seemed to be the best. Um, and it's almost like linear. So the 50% ones are the second best. And then the pure castings are definitely the most stunted. There's a couple ones that are coming up, but they're still fairly small for only for being uh, almost three weeks. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting. I think one thing it's kind of taught us is that our castings are closer to 100% 
than I thought. Um, they say that 20% is kind of the optimal number. And once you go over that, that the, uh, the regulators in the worm castings can actually inhibit growth. So it's, it's kind of very clear with the 100% the ones, they are much smaller than the 20% ones. Now, obviously they're starting to run out of uh, nutrients. You can see the yellowing on there, um, but they're definitely a lot bigger. All right, so a couple things to note. We did use a humidity dome on, on this and it definitely, you can see the condensation on it. And the other thing is, is that we only watered when needed. So, and we only watered from the top. These probably got three to four waterings in the last 19 days. These got zero just because they were, they looked moist. Uh, they felt a lot moist because worm castings retain a lot more moisture. So I think what we're gonna do is pop a couple of these out and just kind of have a look at the, uh, the root structure, so. While you're popping these out, are you gonna talk about what the other component of the soil is? I mean, we have 20, 50, and 100% worm castings, but. Oh, right, yeah, so the, the soil is um, uh, cocoa core and perlite only. So it was a purchased bagged soil? Did they call it? Was it a seed starting soil? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. So seed starting soil. No, no, no. It wasn't a seed starting. Okay. It was just a, a straight potting mix. Okay. That's all it was. Yeah. It was from that island finest. So this might not work. But... Okay. So this is the 20% worm casting one. Obviously bigger plant bigger roots a um, little bit dry but still feels fairly moist um, this is the 50% and it still feels fairly moist decent root structure structure on it and then the 100% um, you can see still this is actually super moist the the worm castings um, but obviously smaller plant smaller root structure so Okay, so we have a couple of questions for you guys. Um, one, at what point would you pot these up? Um, two, would you call down to one plant? Um, just so there's only one plant per cell in there. Um, that's something I would be interested in knowing. What do you think, hon? I would probably call them. Call them. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to pot one of each up. And I'm going to pot them up into um, the same ratio as I originally planted them. So the 20% uh, the worm casting will go into a little guy with 20% worm casting and then 80% of the um, potting mix. And then same with the 50 cent be 50 50 and then same with the 100 percent it'll be 100 percent worm castings so we'll go ahead and do that and then just bring you back real quick for a closing thought okay we got them potted up you know it it's ballparking here at best so this is about 20 percent uh about 50 percent about 100 percent so we'll just see we'll see how it goes um if anyone's got any thoughts we'd uh really uh appreciate it this is being filmed the day after we put out our leaf mold um, video. And we just want to thank you guys. There were so many great comments in there. Like, so many great comments. I am now going to leave the leaf mold pile because of you guys. So, um, yeah, just thank you. Thank you very much. It's it's, uh, it's cool to uh, to learn this way. So... Yeah, what am I trying to achieve? I don't know. Uh, we'll just see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm definitely stoked that I don't have to use 100% uh, worm castings in my seed starting mixes. That's a pretty good thing. Um, but you never know. We'll just see what happens. We'll just keep, um, you know, uh, an eye on these for the next couple weeks. And then eventually they're going to have to go out into our winter somewhere. So 
fingers crossed, sink or swim. Um, yeah. Not even close. Stay awesome, guys.